I, it, they came to me with the role. So um, Penelope, who was Veronica in the play, um, uh, it was, seemed like a very good fit. Uh, you know, she's incredibly serious and takes everything way too seriously and is very politically correct. And uh, and in the beginning, in a, in a way, you know, you can play that normally in a sort of dramatic way. And then as time goes on, it becomes more and more, you know, more and more of a satire of a regular person. I am an uptight uh, woman who works at a bookstore, but who's writing a book on suffering and suffering in Africa. And I uh, can't seem to get that out of her mind. And she's, uh, she's sort of, she's, you know, almost like a, a human rights court. Um, she wants to do the same thing and is appalled by these two people that have come into her home that she feels um, over and over again by everything that they say and that they demonstrate just don't seem to care at you know the plight of the world and how terrible this circumstance is. Uh, John, uh, John C. Riley, uh, who plays Michael, uh, his relationship with me is that he's just a good guy and he, you know, listens to me and but he just he's trying to make peace and he kind of thinks that my uptightness is it's just a little too much, and uh, the way he avoids that is by uh, drinking his favorite scotch. Yeah. Well, Roman has been a filmmaker for a very long time, and uh, he knows everything. You know, he's a master technician, and he's a, he's a master filmmaker, and he has a very specific style. And um, lots of directors have many different styles, and they kind of jump back from one to the other, and they all have a different style for each each uh, each film each film they do and each, each type of storytelling, but Roman doesn't. I mean, he's very consistent about what he wants. And the way he does that is that he makes every single decision himself. So he, you know, very often puts the marks down and he very often, you know, he sets the camera and he's there with his little viewfinder, which I haven't seen anyone use a viewfinder in about 20 years. <laughs> and his is all scratched, just from like knife in the water. Um, he, you know, he has, he has an idea of the look that he wants for the movie, but that is also a part of his lexicon too. And you know, another director could come in and make a, a totally different film, and um, would make a film that would be completely different. So it's been interesting to see his style really uh, take take uh, take form on this film. I think it's been interesting for him to work with four actors that have also been around for an incredibly long time and have made a lot of movies. Um, I've directed movies, Christoph's directed a film, John's produced films, and, and Kate's pretty much done everything on the planet that any, any human being could possibly do right, you know? Uh, and I think it's been fun for him because he realizes it's easier for him. Um, that in, in some ways, uh, most of the direction that he had to do was in rehearsals. And that there's very little acting direction to be done once the film starts shooting. So um, most of his concerns are really uh, visual concerns about how the camera, you know, what the camera angles are and how to move things around and then very, very subtle tweaks for us, but, you know, he, he made his play before the film started and sort of told us the direction that he was looking for and then he doesn't really have to work too hard with us after that. <laughs>